at City Kickboxing, and we're about to work last hard week. I don't know if you call it Hell Week. Do they call it Hell Week here? Every day. Yeah, every day. Yeah, every day. Every day. Satisfied. The warm up side just for the camera. Now we got to work. Israel's coming off a, a long break. Ordinarily, I wouldn't be an advocate of coming off long breaks and having long breaks between fights. But I think for him, it's been a benefit. He is still able to compete and be the best in the world. Please to advise you that your base salary has been increased by 2% Woo! to $38,242 per year. I know some people the same year, they've got a 30% increase. No, no one gets That's a lot. Yeah, you go That's a lot. <laughs> it's based on performance. No, it's not. Well, look at me now. <laughs> look at me now. <laughs> so I quit this job. September 4th, 2013. And the next day I was on a plane to China and I tried to quit this job three times prior. Kept on failing and then when I mentioned, I kept on, you know, I always dream like, man, I'm gonna get out of here one day. And one of my coworkers laughed at me and I was like, what the f you laughing at? He's like, well, you said, that a, you said that a year ago, Israel. I'm like, yeah, look at me now. I wanted to start. MMA to compete, and I don't think my dad knew that to start with. He wanted to lose weight anyway at the time, so he decided to join at the same time I started, and yeah, luckily for me, he did, because I actually and didn't want to keep doing it. Well, he kept going, and then he started coming home telling me about all the chokes he was doing and the sparring and all these things that I originally started to do, and so it sort of brought me back to the sport, and then we haven't stopped since. Hello. This is what I do, I guess, most of the time. I just sit around doing stuff like this, take the dog for a walk, clean the house, whatever. Um, and then every now and then I'll get to punch some guy. It's, I don't know. This is my third workout of the day. We're gonna like, get a little bit loose, especially I'm fighting a striker. So I wanna have all my weapons on lock, see what I'm gonna need in the fight. The difference between Biggie Boy back then and now, before he was just a gunslinger and he was very adventurous, always willing to take the risk. The thing I find since I'm working with Biggie Boy, I see that the base that he had, we kind of cemented it even stronger and we really amplify his strength. So what I feel now is that he will be able to utilize his weapons better. The only prediction I have is that we're very good, we're prepared, the strategy is on point, and it's just time for the execution. I feel good, I, I pushed my body today, so now I'm gonna go, go home or go somewhere to eat, like a lot of food, my body needed. One of the biggest satisfactions as a trainer is to work with an athlete, see him develop, and then walking with him to the ring, knowing we have a mission, we have a goal, and literally destroying the opponents and reaching the goals, and making steps towards a championship. Just arrived in Perth from Dubai. Uh, I've been doing my training camp over in uh, Dubai. I'm gonna head to a pad, and then I think we're gonna go for a run, sweat off a little bit of the the plane and then chill out. Hey, oh, mad dog. mad dog. Well, everyone knows that knows me, the, the mighty Penny Panthers, that's our team. <laughs> Watch a bit of a footy and then we'll go for a run, get a bit of a blowout, and then all right, we'll just get into the groove tomorrow. Baby! Oh. <laughs> hey, no. We always come back. <laughs> we always come back. Well, not thanks to Lar. Responde. Why did I send you a message to you, man? Because I'm preoccupied. And then? Hi, how did you get today? Good. Firme com o UFC? Firme. Vai bater Acabamos, ou vai apanhar? Bater, né? 
Como é que fica aí? Nossa, é tá antigo, hein? Só solta aqui. Tava no guarda-roupa? Tá. Nó. A evolução não só como atleta, mas como pessoa também, graças à minha mãe também, que sempre me deu o suporte aí. Acho que essa foi a época que eu parei de dar trabalho um pouco pra minha mãe. Ah, minha mãe é a que, por tra... que tá por trás de tudo, né, velho? Ela foi a que... É o tripé que sustenta a câmera ali, tá ligado? Ela... ela, eu costumo falar que ela é a melhor mãe do mundo, o melhor pai do mundo, porque sempre fui eu e ela, nossa família, né? Desde, desde quando eu tinha um ano de idade. Filhão, tá aqui, né? Hoje atleta do, do UFC e aplaudido... Venerado aí, todo mundo paga no Carlos Prates, né? Mas o começo, como todo atleta, vocês sabem disso, não é fácil. Tem que treinar, tá? Vai com Deus. Tchau. Volta que hora? Depois do treino, umas seis e pouco. Nossa, tudo isso? Por aí. Tchau. Tchau, com Deus. Depois This afternoon, all the training's done. Just gonna go get a haircut with my uh, son at uh, one of my friend's barber shop. Yeah, just a little glow up before we uh, head into fight week. My son always loves getting haircuts, not because of the haircut, but he knows he gets a lollipop after, so it's cool that we can do it together. You're lucky daddy's weight cutting, otherwise I'll be having one as well. It's been over a year since I last fought, but it's actually been nice, a bit of a break, coming back fresh, and um, the fire is burning, you know, so when I step in there for the UFC 305, you'll be seeing the best, the best version of Kai. We're going to go over there, look good, feel good, take out the hometown ball, make a statement and get a title shot, so that's how I see this going down. If you're a car guy, you'll appreciate this car. All the technology, but uh, the sound, and it's a Lamborghini. I mean, <laughs> do they ever get old? We've been here for a week. Uh, everything's great. You know, we know where everything is, we're comfortable. What? Right now, we're doing short, intensive rounds. Just through the movements. I mean, everything's been done for the camp. Right now, we just have to stay sharp. Everything is short, explosive. I think we were ready 10 weeks ago already. He's just working very hard, harder than before. Um, putting a bigger effort in than before. We basically try to cover all aspects of what will happen in fight night. The easy that you saw against Strickland um, is not what we've prepared for. We've prepared for a much better easy. So we want to fight the best version of an easy. I'm a champion. I'm champion of the world and I eat like a world champion. I train like a world champion. And believe me, when you see me in that octagon, I am going to fight like a world champion.